prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Amen. Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together we say, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the, to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, who among you is wise and understanding? Let him show his works by a good life in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. Wisdom of this kind does not come down from above, but is earthly and spiritual demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, 
gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for His birth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus came down from the mountain with Peter, James, and John, and approached the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and the scribes arguing with them. Immediately on seeing him, the whole crowd was utterly amazed. They ran up to him and greeted him. He asked them, What are you arguing about with them? Someone from the crowd answered him, Teacher, I have brought to you my son, possessed by a mute spirit. Whenever it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth, grinds his teeth, and becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive him out, but they were unable to do so. He said to them in reply, O faithless generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring him to me. They brought the boy to him, and when he saw him, the spirit immediately threw the boy into convulsion. As he fell to the ground, he began to roll around and foam at the mouse. Then he questioned his father, How long has this been happening to him? He replied, Since childhood. It has often thrown him into fire and into water to kill him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, If you can, Everything is possible to the one who has faith. Then the boy's father cried out, I do believe. Help my unbelief. Jesus, on seeing a crowd rapidly gathering, rebuked the unclean spirit and said to it, Mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. Shouting and throwing the boy into convulsion, he came out. He became like a corpse, which caused many to say, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, raised him as he stood. When he entered the house, his disciples asked him in private, Why could we not drive the spirit out? He said to them, 
this, can, this kind can only come out through prayer. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Sino ho sa inyo ang nakakaalala kung kailan kayo bininyagan? O sino sa inyo ang alam kung saan at sino ang nagbinyag sa inyo? Marahil ho, wala. Kahit ako ho, minsan tinatanong ko, kailan ka, Father, bininyagan? At sa pagkakaalam ko, ati-atihan iyon. Dahil sa mga picture nung 1985, yun ang nakikita ko sa photo album. And lo and behold, it was around January. Lahat tayo dito ay bininyaga nung tayo ay maliit pa. At ang ating pananampalataya ay naipasa sa atin without us being aware of it. Pero yung mga taong nandoon, sila yung tinanong ng pare. Kung mapapalaki ba ninyo ito ng may pananampalataya. Nung tinanong tayo, no? kung naniniwala ba tayo sa Diyos, the one who answered in behalf of us is no other than our parents and God parents. Hindi ho ba? Siguro naman ho, nag-attend kayo ng mga binyag, nagninong at nagninang kayo. We all have this parang face na naipasa sa atin without us having that primary consent. No? However, no, as we mature and grow old, no, natuturoan tayo ng ating mga magulang, beginning with the, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. No? And also yung mga basic prayers. No? Hail Mary, our Father, glory be. No? And at times, parang na-verbalize lang, pero minsan, hindi pa natin ito na iintindihan at na uuna waan. Pero it doesn't mean na wala tayong pananampalataya. As we mature and grow, pag tayo ay nasa elementary, may mga katekisan na nagpupunta at tayo ay natuturuan ng basic katekisem. Ten Commandments, Precepts of the Church, ano pa? Seven Capital Sins, no? kung ano ang masama at mabuti. No? However, no? Alam natin at aware tayo no, na marami sa atin ang nag-stop matuto ng ating pananampalataya, ating belief system during grade 5 or grade 6. Maswerte ka na lang kung napunta ka sa Catholic school at ito ay nasusuplementan. No? Our faith journey somehow is not that, you know, well-developed. Why am I telling you this, my dear brothers and sisters? In our gospel reading today, it talks about a man who has an epileptic boy. Epileptic boy. Siya ay lumapit sa mga disipulo ni Jesus at nagtanong na pagalingin ang kanyang anak. Pero it appears hindi kaya ito ng kanyang mga disipulo. Jesus asked, Ano nangyari? How come hindi nyo napagaling? Hindi ho kaya namin eh. Hindi kaya ng powers namin eh. So Jesus took him, no? And he asked the father, Ano bang nangyari? And he told that this boy has been sick since his childhood, no? Kung baga may epilepsy. No? Jesus was asking him, If you can, everything is possible to one who has faith. Ah, lahat tayo ay may pananampalataya din. Pero in-acknowledge ng tatay na ito na yung kanyang pananampalataya ay hindi pa buo. Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. By this very text, my dear brothers and sisters, I guess we can all relate. No? Naniniwala ako, Lord, pero minsan, kulang. 
ay tulungan niyo akong maunawaan ng lahat. Akala ko kasi natin ang ating pananampalataya ay destination. Ano? Basta nabinyagan ka, tapos na. Basta nakumpilang ka, tapos na. We fail to remember that our faith is actually a journey, not a destination. It is actually alive. No? May mga fluctuations. No? Minsan hindi tayo naniniwala. Minsan, tiwalang-tiwala tayo. Minsan, parang, ha? Bala ka na dyan, Lord. Pero I guess, my dear brothers and sisters, no? Sa katotohanan na ito ay buhay, tayo ay buhay, patuloy tayong maghihikahos Sana na palalimin iyon. Huwag nating husgahan ng ating sarili kung minsan na hindi tayo naniniwala. Nakulang ang ating pananampalataya. It is okay. Just like what happened here in the gospel. Sa frustration siguro ng tatay na ito. No? Naniniwala akong may Diyos eh. Pero... Since bata, ganyan na yan eh. Meron ba talagang Diyos? He confessed to Jesus, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. In times of crisis, my dear brothers and sisters, it is actually a crossroad. But most of us already stop at the crossroad. No? Ayoko na. I'll turn back. But through the pleading of this man, no? sa kanyang patuloy at walang sawang, please Lord, please Lord, please Lord. Ayun. Nakulitan si Jesus. Dininig. Ganin din ho ang buhay pananampalataya natin. Kailangan tayong mag-effort. Nabinyagan tayo, oo, no? Nagsisimba tayo, oo. No? Every Sunday, nagpo-profess tayo, I believe in God, the Father Almighty. No? Humaba pa nga ngayon eh, kasi naisiyan creed na ngayon eh. No? Nung bininyagan tayo, when it was as us, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty? Hindi tayo ang sumagot, no? Kundi ang ninong at ninang. Sana ho ngayon, paulit-ulit nating Sabihin ito at i-check sa ating mga sarili. Anong level na yung belief natin? At kung may mga moments na medyo down, it is okay. Because that is the very time na papasok ang Diyos para mas maintindihan at maunawaan natin ang ating pananampalataya. Ang hinihiling lang, na, lang niya ay kulitin natin siya. This kind can only come through prayer. And how do we pray? Kulitin ng kulitin ng Diyos. Para yung mga doubts natin, yung mga unbelief natin, ay masolusyonan mismo ng Diyos. Amen. Please stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and, deep, and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. Lord, help us in our weakness. Lord, help us in our weakness that the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord help, help us in our weakness. weakness. 
that world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us in our weakness. That we may not grow idle in our prayer life, so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us in our weakness. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us in our weakness. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us in our weakness. God our Father, keep healing us from all evil and let your goodness shine in us by the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was which hid and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it.
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, has said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins, sins of the world, of the world have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Maria, Ina ng Ama, 